Hi, Lake Deaton family and friends. I, I am so glad to, to be with you uh, today. I am in the prayer room for Lake Deaton, and if you have not been here, I invite you to come by, especially in this Lent season, and just take a few minutes to pray and uh, just enjoy a time of meditation. But today we are talking about salt and light, and I hope that you have read the scripture already. Um, you know, salt has gotten a bad reputation. We're not supposed to use too much of it because it's bad for our health. But I still remember when I was a little girl and uh, we visited the remote villages in Honduras and the way they used to uh, preserve meat was by putting salt in it. That's a way to preserve uh, the meat and it really helped uh, those people without refrigeration. So I, I know that salt has a lot of good use and, uh, and, and for us as Christians, uh, Jesus called us to be the salt of the world. You don't need a whole lot of it, just a little bit. It adds flavor uh, to your food and to your life. So uh, I think Jesus is calling us that in the midst of our family, friends, and neighborhoods, that we can just bring a little flavor. Uh, we don't have to overwhelm uh, those around us with what we have to share, but just to be there, to be healing, to be loving, to be kind, to bring out the best in people, to bring out the best in those around us. So as we continue in our Lent study, I encourage you to, to be the salt, to be the light in, in places where there's darkness, in places where there's sadness, uh, people that are grieving, people that are lost or confused, to just bring hope. Uh, just a word of encouragement, just a smile uh, can be that salt, that little bit of flavor that adds to uh, the, the people in our lives. Have a great day. I hope you continue in our study and God bless you.